So when you first start multiplying bigger numbers, it can be helpful to have a way to, to visualize or see what's happening. Because we don't just want to learn a set of steps. We want to understand what's happening when we multiply. So let's review a method called the place value sections method. And it's called that because we're going to break down the, the uh, factors into their place value components to help us to, to do the multiplication. And the way we're going to do that is using kind of an area model. So we're going to get to do a little bit of drawing. In this case, let's say we, we're putting up a bunch of chairs for an assembly at school and we need eight rows of 35 chairs. So we need to be able to tell the principal how many chairs that is. To set up our place value sections area model, we just have to draw a long rectangle. Give yourself plenty of room when you do that. Now when we draw this rectangle on the vertical, we're going to put our 8. 8 is a one digit number so we just have the one place value but 35 is two digits, two place values. and We're going to break it into each places actual value. So that means we're going to have a tens place and a ones place. So we're going to cut this rectangle in half. That 35 we're going to break down into the tens value 30 and the ones value 5. Now we're all set up for success and we're going to make this easy peasy lemon squeezy we are going to take the tens place value of the 35 and multiply it by our other factor 8 and we're going to take the ones place value of our number 35 the 5 and also multiply that by 8 so we're breaking this into two easier problems now if we look at 30 groups of 8, well the good news is we know how to break that down. We know how to take that 30 and turn it into 3 times 10 times 8. And the fastest way to do that is 3 times 8 is 24 and 24 times 10 is 240. That's what we've been working on um, earlier to prepare us for this. And if we look at our ones place multiplication, well that is a math fact. We know that five groups of eight is 40. So now we know the product of the tens place of the 35 and eight and the product of the ones place of the 35 and eight. What we want is the total product. So to do that, we have just a little bit of addition. And we find that, in fact, we'd have to tell the principal, we need 280 chairs. That's how place value sections works. Let's try it, if you're ready, with a larger number, just to see what they think. So this time, let's say we had... 12 groups, oh, groups of, oh, how about we make it 25? I don't have any fancy uh, story to tell you about these numbers, so let's just leave them naked. Again, if we want to do place value sections, we're going to draw that big, long triangle to help us see those parts. Don't make it too skinny. In fact, maybe I did. I'm going to make mine even bigger. And this will work out because we're going to take that 12 and we're going to bring it along the vertical. It's got two place values, a 10 plus a 2. So I'm going to do the 10 plus 2. Now I've broken it into those place values. And I have 25. So again, I have two place values for a two-digit number. 
of the other factor. And that 25 whoop, is going to equal 20 plus 5. So everything gets set up like that. Now we're going to break it into a bunch of sub products like we did before. We only had two before, but now we have more complex numbers, so we're going to end up with a little more um, happening. The good news is we're breaking it into simple work. Here, let's take the tens place from each number. And you can see how this works, much like any coordinate graph. We're going to break down. You don't have to use the little arrows. I'm just using that for a visual. But you can. It's your math. Do what you got to do. So we have... Instead of 12 groups of 25, which can look a little bit complicated, we've broken it into four multiplication problems that are all mental math for us. Let's start with 20 groups of 10. So here, again, we can break this into 2 times 10 times 10 if we want, although that's not going to change anything because... Most of us are probably caught on to that pattern that anything times 10, we almost just stick a zero on, as they say. 20 groups of 10 is 200. I'm going to go underneath that and look at 20 groups of 2. This one, if we broke it down to 10, or 2 times 10 times 2, I might take that 2 times 2 and make it 4, and 4 times 10 is 40. 10 times 5 is a nice math fact, we get 50, and 5 times 2 is a nice math fact, we get 10. So here we have the products of the tens place numbers, the products of the ones place numbers, and the products of tens place by ones place. That all sounds really complicated, but the important thing is we have all of these sort of sub-products, place value products. Now we want the total product, and that is just a matter of adding as you do when you find the total of something a lot. And in this case the product is 300. Now if that seemed kind of complicated to you, don't worry. We're going to work up to it. I just wanted to give you a little sneak peek into how this looks. And maybe you can even imagine using the place value section for greater and greater numbers. You just end up with a much bigger area model. Good luck and happy multiplication.